In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to set up a hologram style emitter. So we'll have a bit of distortion on the hologram, we'll animate the actual hologram model, and uh, we'll look at creating kind of small effects as well. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make a folder in here. I'm just going to call this hologram. And in here, we're going to right click and we're going to make a new material. So we'll double click on our material here. Let's make sure it's actually on the right monitor. And um, there's a few controls we need. And obviously, the main one we need is opacity, which isn't linked here. So we just need to make sure our blend mode is set to translucent. And that gives us control over the emissive color and the opacity, the base color, which is kind of all we should need for this example. So if you hold down free and click, um, left click in there, we just drag that into there and we're going to right click, convert to parameter and just call this base color. For the color here, I'm just going to set this to like a, a light blue. Um, so really easy to get our base color, like simple, that's all we should need for that. Obviously, we need a lot more control in our emissive and our um, opacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Fresnel node to control um, where this kind of glows around the edge. So um, when the camera is looking at, say, a sphere, where the edge is kind of curving off here, we're going to have a stronger glow. And in the center, we're going to have less glow. Um, just to create that kind of effect that we have on our model here. So if we just right click, let's create for now. And the first thing we're, we're going to want to do is hold down S and just click and we'll call this for now Exponent, Expo and we'll just drop that into there. So the scaler will allow us to control this in any kind of material instance that we make. The next thing we'll do is we'll hold L and left click to create a layer. And we're going to drop our Fresnel into the alpha there. And what this will do is this will basically allow us to use the um, Fresnel. So um, we'll have two colors, one when you're looking at the very center of something, and then another color for when the normal of that thing is curved off, say, over here. So if we just hold down free and just click twice to, to create two colors, We'll drop that one into B and that one into A, and we'll just drop some different kind of colors into there, just so we can see exactly what this is doing for us. Um, if we just drag that into our emissive color, just for now. And the reason why nothing is happening is because I've dropped this in here and it's got a default value of zero. So just, even if we just change that to one, we should see. So we can see now, we're seeing the red in the middle here and we're seeing the blue around the edge. If we just um, try to, um, change that value to say five by default and just hit save. Then already we can see we're getting that kind of blue edge around there. Then we've got red towards the center. Okay, so we're also going to want to control the emissive in the same way. Um, we could set up a separate Fresnel, but to make this easier, we're just going to use the same one. It does mean that um, this Fresnel exponent will be the same for the alpha, um, but that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll, we don't need color this time because we're just controlling opacity. So that only uses black and white. So we can just use two scalars here. So I'll call this um, that's high. And then we'll drop another one in low. I mean, that's probably not the most sensible names to be fair. So um, if we just check here, we know that red goes to A, so that's our center and that's our edge, so it should probably swap those around. And in fact, I'm going to rename these just to something a bit more sensible. We we'll call this center and I want it to be edge. And then I'm just going to drop that straight into the opacity slot. Um, obviously, at the moment, my parameters are both set to zero. So I just need to increase the 
that one there, and maybe rather than have that completely visible in the center, we'll set it to say 0.3 so that we can actually see something through there. Um, another thing we'll want to do if we just go to our strength, our glow here. Now, one is obviously actually a really kind of low value for the strength of glow, so let, let's try putting that say up to 20. We'll try putting that on two and that on one, and then if we just hit save. You can see now we're getting like a stronger kind of edge around there. So let's just try sticking this on our model. Okay, so we're starting to see nice effects there. We're kind of getting that kind of blue kind of glow around the edge just as we want. I was just sticking back where I was. In fact, I could just go to the sequencer here and I'll automatically put it back to there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is just add some, um, uh, just something a bit more interesting to this. So at the moment, all we're doing is controlling the opacity uh, using a Fresnel and we're controlling the kind of glow strength using a Fresnel too. And um, so let's first of all just convert these to parameters and we'll just call this. Glow. Oops. Call this glow center. And on this one, oops, convert to parameter. Call this glow edge. Yeah, that's better. So now we have a good amount of control um, and obviously saving this and tweaking this obviously takes longer than if we were using it as a material instance. So I'm just going to come in here, right click, create material instance and I can drag that onto there and let's just have a look at the controls available to us now. So at this stage we can control our base color. So it's just, it's just the underlying color without any um, uh, without any of the glow. We can change the color of the glow center as well. We just want to have it all blue. And the glow edge too, um, to control the actual strength of that. And another one we control, can control is the exponent here. So if we just watch what this does, so that controls basically the edge kind of fall off here. So although I'm using this this model here, if I just drop a sphere into the scene, you can start to see that kind of a bit better on there. Uh, we also have opacity here, so let's just we can drop the opacity on that like so. And yeah, you could drop the opacity edge, although I don't feel like we kind of really need to do that to be fair. Um, so yeah, you've got quite a lot of settings you can already mess around with on that. 